Hey, Justin Dyson here at Dyson Apiary. He's gonna give you a quick tutorial today on how we store honey supers for the winter. This will be a two-part series. Make sure you tune in for the second part. Stay with us right here. We'll get, get right with you. Hey, first part of the series here on how we store honey supers for the winter. There's a couple different methods depending on if you're a really large operation, say you have a hundred or more supers that you have to store for the winter, or if you just have a few. So what I have here is the last extracting we have for the season. I only had 18 supers here to finish up. So the method I'm gonna show you here today is how we, we set them back on the bees and let them clean them up. And the reason we do that is if, if we put these wet supers out in the apiary so say we would need to if we were going to use that method we would set them 100 100 yards or more away from the bee, bee apiary so they they can effectively locate where they're going to, to get that honey but when we do that all this rough comb here they would just tear it to pieces and and it would end up being in, in a pile at the bottom of the stack of supers so if you have a small, small amount, amount of supers the best method in my opinion to get these supers cleaned up and ready for storage is to just set them right back on top of the hives and the, the bees will go up in there and they'll move that honey down now one problem is this this particular frame i'm showing you here is you see this pollen that's in here so this super was the bottom super right above the brood nest above a queen excluder now they they likely won't clean this pollen out so that's going to create a problem for storage for the winter and we'll talk about that in part two so all we do it, it's pretty simple we just take these wet supers and we need to do this late in the afternoon um, because the bees get really excited when you put honey that's not properly stored in the cells like they like to have it. Um, they get really excited and they're going to go piling out of the entrance and go to try to find where all that honey's at and they may start robbing each other. So best case scenario, do this late in the afternoon, but I mean, it's pretty simple. So I always like to stick a honey, uh, a uh, queen excluder on. Um, you don't even have to take the inner cover off if that's what you're using. Just stick a queen splitter on there just to make sure. And uh, we'll go ahead and space those out if you don't have the uh, spacers put into the put into the supers already. But we'll just space those out to make sure they're kind of set up in that nine frame orientation. And we're just gonna set them on there and we can stack these up. We can stack these up, you know, like however high you can reach, honestly, as long as you don't have a big windstorm coming. Um, none of these have those nine frame spacers built in them, so I'm just going to kind of space these out a little bit here. And we could use like a nine frame spacer if we wanted to just to make sure they were right, but these frames are going to move before next, before next season anyway, so it's really not that important. Just stack them up. That's, that's probably high enough there. Make sure we don't get a windstorm. Close it up, make sure we get everything closed up, and we'll go to the next hive. That's all there is to it. Part two is coming up soon. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. If you would like to see more and get notified when I put out new videos, make sure you buzz that like button and sting that subscribe button.